traveling through the countryside during the winter months. The visiting firemen find the resourcefulness of this rural, self-sufficient community to be amazing, especially when the town bell sounds the fire call. From their homes and shops, the volunteers rush to the aid of their neighbor with hand pumps and hose carts, using the road and canals to reach the fire. When the path becomes too slippery, the firemen strap on their skates and become the skating fire brigade. Additional volunteers turn out when they hear the sound of the responding apparatus. Upon arrival, a water supply is established, a line stretched, and the hand pump placed into operation. Dreyfus's respect for the fire service and his ability to professionally record its activity created a circle of friends around the world. Never without his motion picture camera and his department badge, he was welcomed wherever he went. Because of his devotion, we now have the opportunity to not only read about fire history, but to actually experience it along with the heroes of yesteryear, like FDNY Chief Smokey Joe Martin. Whether in New York, Paris, or Berlin, when Al Dreyfus placed his camera on a tripod, he not only preserved fire history, he promoted friendship and cooperation among firefighters around the world. <laughs>